Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Carol J. Dunlop, your online wild strategist and Amazon number one international best-selling author for my book, Unmarket Your Business, 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs to Stand Out, Stop Struggling, and Start Profiting. So I'm here today with good friend, great colleague, coaching client, and my coach, and I don't know how many other monikers I could give to this woman because she's totally awesome. I hear June Klein, the fabulous, and she's going to give, give you all the information about her. But I wanted to bring her on because June and I have known each other for a few years now. We've worked together for a few years now. I've helped her. She's helped me. It's, it's been kind of this thing where we're just doing things together. And right now, June is in the middle of launching an awesome project, which she's going to tell you about. But I wanted to bring her on just a little bit because she's doing so much with me, and I wanted to know, why me? What made me the one that she, she picked to help her with this stuff? So without any further ado, June, would you please introduce yourself, tell us all about you, and tell us why you're working with me, girl. <laughs> smart. That's why I'm working with you. I'm a, I, you are talking to the southern sassy and savvy harley riding humorist so i didn't i didn't get that title for nothing <laughs> I, know, I know a good thing when i see it and uh figured out a long time ago that you're one smart cookie and oh, thank you we have um we've been in different circles together and we have done a lot together i i can't even remember i, I think it was pro win maybe it where was we it was probably when, when we met, when we initially met, because I think, I think I saw you at the, one of the luncheons and ProWin, for those of you who don't know who, who've been under rock or not in Atlanta, ProWin is a professional networking, um, what is it, Pro professional networking organization for women, sorry, and I've been a part of that for, God, going on six years now, and I met June there, just, you know, arbitrarily, how I talk about networking in my book and collaborating in my book and meeting people and all that. And she was there. And I totally remember that you were talking about you were going on a diet. I remember you saying this kind of out loud in front of everybody. You were saying, I'm going on a diet and I'll be danged if I didn't eat that whole cake. What, whatever it was, it was a, the, whatever the dessert we were having. You said, I ate that whole cake. And I just remember hearing that. And I'm like, I was falling out laughing in my seat. It was so funny. And that was a time when you were like 50 pounds overweight. And then we got together and talked because at that time I was um, coming out of personal training and going into what I'm doing now, which is web design and marketing strategy full time. And I was like, I got to talk to this woman. I mean, I got to just show her that it's okay if you eat the whole cake at one time just get back on the horse and keep riding it and i think that's kind of what i told you wasn't it you know what i had totally forgotten that and <laughs> i remember it because i i remember the moment of going i sat here and ate that whole dang thing you know <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> and i'm new to this organization but we did connect and there was that connection there was just that mm -hmm that spark, that energy, that the way that we related to each other. And yeah. um, I, I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did come up and say, it's okay. So, so I loved you already right there. <laughs> Permission. So yeah, 53 pounds later. Um, and, and that's been four years ago, at least I've kept it off. And uh, there's, there's a, a method to that madness as well. And you just, you impressed me, your good energy. And once I started finding out all the ding, dang, dong things you do, <laughs> I was like, why am I not working with this woman, especially on this social media and workshop, uh, work, what is it called? Um, the social website. media mastermind? Well, website, actually. Website, yeah. Mm -hmm. You created my wow website. I did, yay. It's good too. Look at it, jimkline.com, real easy. And oh my gosh, it, it had just needed so much. And I'd been through so many people and it pretty much sucked every time I'd spent all this <laughs> money on it. So I could not be, I have been the most and the more most pleased with your good. work, what you've done on my website. And it's forever a work in process. We know that we get that. There's some tweaks and things that we're still working on, but you know what? I got, I got my girl. I mean, I just, 
she's usually waiting on me <laughs> to get writ up or um, changed or make a decision. And gosh, I, I, I have difficulty making decisions on things like that because there are so many options and so many ways to go. And right. you just mentioned, you know, I've got a few irons in the fire right now. And it's like, well, do mm -hmm. I do this? Do I do that? And it's like, well, girl, you need to tell me what you want me to do. Well, I will. And so I finally <laughs> get around to it, but you're amazing at that. I'm very, very pleased with what we've done together and you've only just begun. I know, I know the the website was kind of the first big project that we worked on. And you're right, you had told me about all the people you had worked with before. And I'm just gonna be totally honest. I just couldn't see it when I went up to the website because there was there was a lot of stuff up there, but there wasn't organization and it was not showcasing the wonderful, awesome person that you are. Now, even though I did the website that you have now, I feel like it's it it cap it has captured your spirit. It shows how awesome you are, how funny you are, how serious you can be, and the things that you talk about. Because even in the writing, I mean, June did all the writing. I did not do her writing. So it comes across as authentic. And you can go and look at her website, all the places that she's spoken at, because she is a speaker, a traveling speaker, and she goes around and she brings humor to all these people. But when you got to our website, it just wasn't one of the things that, you know, just said, it didn't say, wow, it really did not. But now, now it says, wow. And as a matter of fact, several people have gone there and said, wow, which is what I strive for when I create the website in the, in the first place. And I say that all the time. I want the people, when they go to look at your site, to say, wow, you know, and just embody what you're trying to present to them. And yes, we are tweaking it. There's some things you're adding, but I just want to let everyone know that's okay. A website is a forever work in progress. Even when you get it done, done, it's not done, done. Because I just got through doing a lot of changes and updates on our own website. So it's not something you could just let, you can, you know, put it up there, let it go, and then you never touch it again. You have to, it's a living, breathing organism, if you really want to think about it like that. And you have to upgrade it to where you are now, what you're doing, what your message is, so that when people land on it, they see the real you instead of the you that you were like five years ago. We don't probably don't even deal with that you anymore. Wow. <laughs> you said it that way. I, um, for ProWin, I just uh, was speaking with our uh, upcoming speaker. I'm managing, I'm vice president of programs this year and just had that ve the very wording come out of somebody else's well, our speaker that's coming up in May, July, um, said it, it's the future you that you need to be pro showcasing and programming, right. uh, not programming, but showcasing. And mm -hmm. I just, for, for you to say that this, this two days in a row, that's really interesting because it's like, who are you growing to? Not what right. you past and what you're dealing with. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. And you do a great job of helping us decide and discern and um one of the things and I, I think we're going to talk about this anyway today but i had a huge dilemma decision making whether to include brass bra woman mm -hmm. on my site or not because bra makes corporate nervous yeah <laughs> Any, look, anything off color makes corporate nervous because corporate is like this, yeah, straight and narrow, which is why I'm not in there. But I do help the people who are in corporate. You know, I just, I'm on the outskirts, but it does. It makes them go, uh. so when you came up, and, and I want you to tell people about Brass Bar Woman, when you came up with that whole idea, and that is part of you, your thing was, well, how do I incorporate it with what I'm doing now? Do I incorporate it with what I'm doing now? And how do I showcase it? But we came up with a, a great um, compromise for right now. I mean, you're working on developing the whole thing. But, you know, this, this is one thing that stops people in their track and keeps them stuck, just like they're in quicksand. Which way do I go? A or B? What do I do? Do I do this now? Do I do this later? And that's why I like to come in with my clients and say, okay, what is it that you really want? Because when I figure out what it is you really want, then we can figure out the roads to get there. Well, and that's what you've, you've worked with me on. You know, my sole purpose, my sole mission in life is to make pre through post menopausal women lose fluids. 
I love that. It gets that response. <laughs> that is typically my opening line with uh, when I'm in meetings with introductions and especially in women's groups. Mm -hmm. So I had to be okay to go down a road that was just a little more edgy and fun. Yeah. But the yeah. whole thing is I just want, I want women to feel more better. Mo better. And that comes from a woman that did my nails for many years, a long time ago. And every time she would do my nails, she would take my hand, hold it up, say, Mo better now. Mo better now. <laughs> I loved that. And so I, when I feel Mo better, I, I share it. So that's my mission is to help really all people feel Mo better because I like to make them laugh out loud within mm -hmm. the first that I meet them within 15 to 20 seconds when I'm on the platform. Right. Um, it's all about the laughter and the humor as far as getting people to relax and mm -hmm. to learn and to pay attention. And my whole thing is humor, hope, and happiness. Uh, yeah. That, that's what I'm about. If I can bring those things and Brass Bra Woman really came out of my motorcycle riding world where I was doing something for a woman that has a group, runs a group called Steel Horse Sisterhood. And it needed to be a little more edgy and it needed to be something um, that was still useful and viable and right. helping me helping people. So that's where Brass Bra Woman came from. It's a five-step process. And bless you, Carol, because you uh, are in my pilot program, yeah. Brass Bra Woman, and it makes a difference. You, 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 it's real easy to remember those steps because of the acronym, but that, and that changes if you are in crises or in a moment of indecision or something, it helps put that frame around it so you can make decisions better. That's what I find. Let's talk about mine. Let's talk about me, Carol. What do you think? I think, I think that's awesome. Let's, let's talk about you. But I want to say, yes, I'm in the group, the pilot group with you with Brass Bar Woman. And from the beginning, I thought it was a great idea when you actually explained what you wanted to do, how you wanted it to work, and what brass meant. And brass means, go ahead and explain what, what brass stands for. Is breathe. The number one thing you've got to do is breathe. Yeah. Relax. You got to figure out where your tension is and in your body. Notice that and then allow. You've got to, whatever it is, it is what it is. And it doesn't mm -hmm. have to stay what it is, but you got to be with what it is right then. And then this week, I'm excited because we're on See It, See It the Way You Want It. That's the S. Mm -hmm. One of the S's, and it's about holding that place and space in your brain of what you want this to look like. And then the last one that we'll go into next week is Say It the Way You Want It. So then you got to talk it. Your words yeah. are power, and you got to bring it into power by believing it, seeing it, and then and then saying it. So that's the five-step process. And one of our other uh, pilot, well, it's Joan that has this, the Brass Bra Woman that, that has still her sisterhood where all this came from. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you every week. She is telling <laughs> or more women, she goes through the process and she's she's more almost more passionate about it than I am because she is she is she was like I couldn't wait for you to start this group I think it's amazing and she said it several times and I've seen the process work on me and it's really helped me to get organized in in the special way that you do it it's helped me to get organized and really stay on top because you know as women we do a million things all the time. Not only do we have our own businesses to worry about, we have the businesses of our spouse or our significant other or whoever else is in our life, plus our children or our adopted children or our play children or whatever, or our animals or pets or whatever. We get our attention goes so many places that we get left on the back burner, the bottom of the pile. And this is a way the Brass Bar Program is a way, the Brass Bar Woman Program, sorry, is a way for us to put ourselves on top so that we can, you know, get everything kind of worked out so that we can help all these other things. And, and then just recently, I think this week, one of our other participants, she was able to use the whole thing and come to a realization that something that she had been working on for quite a while I wasn't even aware she was working on it. She was like, that doesn't even fit me anymore. It's not something I want to do. So I'm going to relax 
and, uh, you know, I'm going to breathe, relax, allow. I'm seeing it right now, and I'm saying it out loud. And it was just like, wow. That's, I know, I know, to actually see your process really work on something, a process that you had in your head for a long time, and you put it out there, and people are kind of going to it. Now, I know that you're getting, you're in the process of launching this whole thing now, so everyone gets to experience and I'm so happy for you for being able to do that because you know one of the things that we also don't do because we keep keep these things all in our head and we say oh you know what if I re release this is anybody going to buy it is anybody going to think this is okay and then we go no they're not going to like it and we stuff it down so you're allowing that to come out so bravo round of applause bravo for you I think that's amazing thank you, <laughs> thank you. Wow. It takes a village and it takes a community. And that's yes. one of the things I love about you. And, you know, we've just built a relationship over the years and we can bounce anything off of each other. And you're yep. un understanding where I wanted to go, support, um, belief in all of those things. So helped me and the same with yours and unmarket your business. I mean, you have created a community there mm -hmm. and where I was going with that is, we need community. We are, especially women, we need mm -hmm. community. That's just the way we yeah. roll. So you created an amazing place and space. And one of my biggest weaknesses, um, up until now, one of my business biggest weaknesses and challenges has been social media. And my bandwidth is just so narrow when it comes to this stuff. And right. the expert that could actually do it for me and then to get into your amazing book uh which i yes i am in i think so you are in the speaking the chapter about speaking you are definitely so no. you know we've been able to utilize each other's talents and goodness and awesomeness in much different ways because you've helped as i said before you've helped me i've helped you and isn't this what life is really about helping each other hashtag sistership yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's fixing to take on a whole new world of its own too and yes um i call it figure eighting when we send energy out to each other and come back you just start mm -hmm. at your core come up and send it right back and we have that synergistic kind of energy that we we help each other and we support each other and we're in each other's we're coaching each other how rare is that yeah. you know, really i know but it's different you know we have different talents and different um, beauties, different awesomeness, and we feed off of each other. You know, the, and I put that in, in the book, Unmarket Your Business. We share that in my unmarketing inner circle, which you are a part of, thank goodness, because, and when my people aren't there, I miss them. When y'all miss for, you know, different reasons, things come up and y'all aren't there. I'm like, oh, where'd they go? But then we all come together again. And, you know, it's amazing What's amazing to me is when I started this, you know, God gave me that thing, Unmarketing Inner Circle, because I wanted to create a community where not just women, men are allowed. I want to let you know, men can't come in. We just haven't had any yet, but it's coming, that you can come in and talk about marketing. Because like you said, not only social media, but email marketing, content marketing, all of that is just so big. It just blows our brain. How are we going to get all this stuff, you know, out of our head, on the paper, make it work? And I knew that I knew a lot of stuff, you know, because I did it. I built, I built um, Creative Services International using social media. I built my other business, the personal training business using social media. So I knew how to do it, but I didn't know how to get it out. And I was telling June about it, and she was like, hey, that sounds good. I was like, you're in, right? And she said, yes, I'm in. So we've been, uh, it's been going on now since, what, November, I think. And mm -hmm. I mean, the breakthroughs and the people who are doing stuff, we've had people who have, you know, gotten their first um, event off the ground and running. We have someone who, and, and you yourself, June, you're getting this Brass Bar Woman thing off the ground and running because it, it, it was, when you came in, it was kind of like, I guess, a seed in your brain. You had done a couple things with it, but it wasn't really out there. And now because of being in the group, participating, and that mastermind and that everyone kind of chimes in on, you've been able to just really niche it down and get exactly who you want, how you want it, and you're ready to just put it out into the universe. And I think that's fantastic. That, that's a fantastic testimonial for us as sisters 
helping each other, collaborating with each other, and doing what we need to do to push each other forward. I, I love it. I love it myself, definitely. I do want to go ahead and mention in your group, uh, there was a situation where you were coaching this woman because she was apparently terrified, scared to death to actually launch and she wasn't going to launch her event because she didn't have the right amount of people and yes. you and everybody else mm -hmm. was like mm -mm, oh no you're gonna you you're gonna do this and she had like a week or something left well she ended up like doubling or tripling yeah. whatever she ended up getting because because we you first the we the coach first, she did she did her yeah not, well then guess what that next month is when i was fixing to begin to commence to start brass bra women <laughs> and i thought mm -hmm. no i think i'll wait another month because it wasn't where i wanted it to be yet i just hadn't had the time to put right. marketing and um i thought no if she had to do it then i'm pretty sure they're gonna make me do it and i gotta do it so i did it and now the pilot we're in the middle of it and now i'm right commence to start to ramp up the the real, not the real, this one was real, but the, the open it up to the public. The, so there you go. Do, yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. So thank you. Thank you. For I'm glad, you know what? I'm a, oh, thank you. I, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because that happened to me. Remember I said, and I think, I don't think this was in the group, but I think this was a, a session that you and I were on together. I said that my, um, something that I was going to launch, I can't even remember what it was, that I was thinking about not doing it. And you said, well, girl, you can't not do that because if she did it and we got her to do it and I did my thing, you got to do yours. And so I did. And it was awesome. I, I really can't remember what it was right now, but that, that's the power of the mastermind. That's the power of us all coming together to help each other. And truth be told, when I started the thing, I had no idea what I was going to do, what I was going to say, how it was going to work. And, you know, doesn't that happen to so many of us? We have an idea and we want to put it out there. We're like, before the idea is even out, we're like, oh my God, what if I get too many people? Or what if it goes on for six months? Or whatever the, you know, we've already crushed the thing before we even put it out there. And so that's the thing. We have to stop thinking ahead. Just, you know, God gives us these, these inspirations and these nuggets and these downloads. We just need to go out there and do it and let him take care of making it flourish. And that is what he has done with the unmarketing inner circle. I tell you, I could not have a more awesomer <laughs> bunch of people in there right now. And the people who are going to join as it goes forth are just going to be even better. I tell you, it's, it's going to be awesome. And thank you, June, for being a part of it say this about that um because we had the conversation and like girl i don't know what i'm gonna talk about i don't know how it's gonna but i'm gonna go i'm gonna do it and carol the innate wisdom and intelligence that you have brought in some of these specific situations just like we're talking about with this one woman you mm -hmm. you just your wisdom just exudes and i'm like sitting over there i mean i i know you mm -hmm. and i'm going Damn, girl, <laughs> good. <laughs> you really are being guided and are led. Oh, and thank you. Are in a special kind of of love and understanding, and my goosebumps just got goosebumps again. So, oh I yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, total, total heart. Thank you so much. And I have to say that is God inspired because I never know what I'm going to say. Uh, the only thing I know is what I'm going to talk about in the very beginning. And then I also bring in guest speakers. And haven't those guest speakers been totally off that chain for real? What? <laughs> I got, got some more. Got some more coming. I have Dr. Tiana Conte, who is a spiritual advisor, and she helps you with enlightenment. She is coming up in May. I haven't even, this is the first time June is hearing this because I haven't made the announcement, so everybody can hear it now. She will be in the second call. So if you want to get in on this unmarketing inner circle, all you have to do is message me and we can talk about it because it is very reasonable. It is awesome. And people make connections. I actually had one of the members tell me, she said, I'm stopping going to some of my networking groups, uh, networking meetings, so I can make it a point to be in this group because I've made so much better connections and deeper connections. 
you know, because we also have accountability partners and I mix them up and you never know who's going to be your partners. So I'm, I'm getting ready to make, do that mix up again. So you get to know people on a deeper level than just, hey, you're at the luncheon. That's good. See you, not, see you later, child. You know, talk to you. We really get to talk to each other. And I'm so glad about that. I've got some other great speakers that are coming up, too, because I don't know, believe it or not, I don't know everything in the world, you know, and I learn from the speakers who have come in so far to help us with speaking and networking and gathering leads and all the different things. So it's, it's just been awesome. But I, I don't want to hold you up. And I thank everyone who's watching here and especially the, the group members for Unmarket Your Business. Thank you for watching. But June, I'm going to give you the platform and just touch with you. And then we're going to let everyone get out of here. <laughs> You're going to give me what? The platform. the platform. The platform. I'm giving you the platform. Oh my God! Go right ahead. <laughs> I'm June Klein, and uh, <laughs> come come see me at JuneKlein.com. And yes, if you're interested in growing um, professional, per, uh, interpersonally, that's really what it is. Um, you know, I I started to say this earlier, but I, I have been in that position, the fetal position on the floor, bawling my eyes out, wondering what the kale I was going to do and how <laughs> I was going to get through this. And that's where brass bra came from. I, I remember laying in the floor, bawling my eyes out, thinking, breathe, just breathe. Because you get in that crazy cry where you can't even breathe. And so that was the first time. And mm -hmm. from there, I started building these different pieces. And um, I don't know what you're up to, what you're involved in, but I can tell you that between that woman and this woman, we can get you where you want to go. So you just need to know that. And I think that's my platform. I think that's plenty. There you go. Except for, I want everyone to go to, if you're interested in Brass Bra Woman, go to BrassBraWoman.com. I was waiting on that to come out. It just seemed like it wasn't coming. So BrassBraWoman.com. And you can get be a part of the community right now. Get in on what June is doing because you don't want to miss out on this. I'm telling you, if you want to excel in your in your personal life, in your business, and just be an all around happier person, go ahead and go to the link brassfrawoman.com. And if you're interested in the marketing inner circle, look below. There's some information for you. All you have to do is go to that link and we will get you taken care of. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're going to feel more better, I'm telling you. Thanks so much, everyone, and we'll see you next time.